Hi, so in this video, we are going to discuss few additional results of LCM. First is if the smallest number, which when divided by P, Q and R leaves the same remainder S, then the number will be LCM of P, Q, R plus S. So let that number be X. So if X is a number, X will be equal to when we divide it by P, we get quotient Q1 and remainder as S. So this X can be written as Q1 times P plus S, right? Similarly, the same number when divided by Q, we get quotient as Q2 and remainder as S. So this X this time can be written as Q2 times Q plus remainder, right? And similarly, when we divide it by R, we get quotient as Q3 and remainder as S. So now this X can be written as Q3 times R plus S, right? And what we are interested in? We are interested in this X. We want to find the value of this X. What will this X be? This X be some multiple of P, Q and R, right? It will be a multiple of P, Q and R, all of them and then we have to add S to that multiple to get S as remainder every time, right? So this X will be actually a multiple of P and a multiple of Q and a multiple of R plus S because S we are getting as remainder every time. That means this X will be a multiple of P, Q and R and then we have to add S because we are getting S as remainder every time, right? But now since we are talking about the smallest such number, this multiple has to be the least multiple. That means this X will be the LCM or the least common multiple of P, Q and R plus S, right? And that is what the result is over here. So the smallest possible number which when you divide by some numbers like P, Q and R and get the same remainder every time, that number, that smallest number will actually be S more than the LCM of P, Q and R. But this will be the result when you assume that you are getting non-zero quotient while dividing this X by P, Q and R, right? If the quotient is zero, then the value of this X can as well be equal to S, which is the remainder where S is less than P, Q and R, right? So actually you are getting two results. One is Q1 is equal to Q2 is equal to Q3 is equal to zero. Then the value of this X will be equal to S. Otherwise, if the quotient is non-zero, the value of X will be equal to the LCM of P, Q and R plus S. Right? So you have to remember what you are asked to find. So this was our first result. And now let's go to the second result. The second statement says, if the smallest number which when divided by P, Q and R leaves remainder S, T and U, where P minus S is equal to Q minus T is equal to R minus U is equal to K, then the number will be LCM of P, Q, R minus K. So, suppose X is the number. So, X, when you divide it by P, let's assume that the quotient will be Q1 when we divide it by P and the remainder is S. So, this X can be written as Q1 times P plus S, right? And when we divide it by Q and the quotient this time is Q2, then this number will be Q2 times Q and the remainder this time is T. So X can be written as Q2 times Q plus T, right? And at the same time when you divide it by R, suppose it divides Q3 times and leaves remainder as U, then this X can be written as Q3 times R plus U, right? And then they are saying P minus S is equal to Q minus T and this is equal to R minus U. Then the number will be LCM of P, Q, R minus K, right? 
So if P minus S is equal to K, then S is actually equal to P minus K, right? And if Q minus T is also equal to K, so from here, this T can be written as Q minus K, right? Similarly, if R minus U is equal to K, then the value of this U can be written as R minus K, right? So if I substitute the value of S as P minus K, then this will be equal to Q1P plus P minus K, right? Similarly, this can be written as Q2Q plus Q minus K. And this can be written as Q3R plus R minus K, right? So now what we have done? Yes, we have actually converted it in the form of same remainder. Yes, of course, remainder over here is negative. That means this can be written as P multiplied by Q1 plus 1 minus K. And this can be written as Q times Q2 plus 1 minus K. And this can be written as R times Q3 plus 1 minus K. Right? That means we have actually converted this result into the form of first result. Right? Here, if we see, x is actually equal to p times q1 plus 1 minus k. And here, the x is actually q times q2 plus 1 minus k. And x is also equal to r times q3 plus 1 minus k. So what do we conclude from here? If we see this, this is nothing but a multiple of P, Q and R. This term is nothing but the multiple of P, Q and R. And then we are removing K from here, where the value of K is P minus S or Q minus T or R minus U, right? So the value of X is nothing but a multiple of P, Q, R minus K. But here, since we are talking about the smallest such number, the value of X will be equal to LCM of P, Q and R minus K. And this is what is our second result, right? So here we have found two additional results based on LCM. And after this video, we are going to solve few word problems based on these results of GCD and LCM, right? So keep watching MathSmart. Bye-bye till then.